when we mark ourselves, like we reclaim our um, indigeneity, but also like we're reclaiming our bodies. And Hi, my name is Dion Kazis. I am a Hungarian, Métis, and Intlakamo cultural tattoo practitioner and tattoo artist. I live and work out of Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, and this is my channel about all things Indigenous. In this video, I share with you the journey that I took to the Ancestral Inc. Symposium held in Santa Fe, New Mexico at the Santa Fe Art Institute, August 18th, 2019. A uh, big shout out to Carolyn and the Kiwiani Associates. Also a quick shout out to Tia Clear Sky for providing the video of me giving my presentation because of course uh, it'd be difficult for me to uh, record myself as I gave a presentation. So enjoy, don't forget to comment and let me know your favorite part of this video. So we've finished the um, fourth or line tattoo training residency. Just off, uh, you know, 3.30 in the morning on my way to the Regina Airport. Um, on my way to Santa Fe, New Mexico for the Ancestral Inc. Symposium. Um, it's always exciting to bring new tattooers into the community, but uh, it's also nice to get going, you know, five weeks away from your family, your loved ones, you know, is uh, tough. It's part of the work we do. I'm thankful to have been able to be here. So, you know, thankful to the rest of the Earthline Tattoo Collective crew and also to the Canada Council of the Arts for their support and to Sagewi Walk, the Indigenous Artist Collective. Just having this mark and knowing what it represents, um, uh, it carries some type of responsibility and that responsibility is a lot of medicine for me.
by putting this traditional indigenous marker of identity on ourselves, I think that we no longer have to explain who we are. These marks explain it for us. I believe it was Al Frank who said that their youth are like, like seaweeds without roots and that our tattooing tradition uh, is a way to root our children and our youth into, into our culture. There are a few, a few people who are getting their tattoos now. And my sister has hers, I have mine. So it's coming back slowly but surely. So obviously because of like colonialism, there's been this like shame around it. And I just kind of like think that when we mark ourselves, like we reclaim our um, indigeneity, but also like we're reclaiming our bodies. and. Um, it's, you know, we're reestablishing this autonomy we have um, over our bodies. And I think for me, especially as an indigenous woman, that's often not afforded to me. We're extinct, that's why the community hasn't uh, come to grips with tattoo, but they're still horrified because we're Hollywood Indians and it's not who you are, but how you look. This person wants to uh, help all of us. Understand who we are as people. So possibly in our own specific communities, we don't see it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, let me know who your favorite indigenous tattoo artist or cultural tattoo practitioner is, and maybe I could interview them for this channel. See you next time.